Hello, and welcome at Model Kit Beginner. Get the microphone in the right position. Here we go. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Roland, and I'm talking to you all the way from Cape Town. Today we have a look at a kit which I wanted to have for a very, very long time. And I finally took the plunge, and yes, it is the Fiat Abarth 695 SS Assetto Corsa. It just sounds so good. It just means it's the Corsa edition. And it is this one. <laughs> it's a Fiat 500 in 1 to 12. Now, any other car in 1 to 12 is huge. Fiat 500, once it's built around about 25 centimeters, which is still a fair size. 18 centimeters normally, uh, the normal, you know, American 125 kit. But yeah, it is somewhat different. Um, you can build two versions. You can build either the 695 SS, which is that small one over here. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, my hand doesn't go in front of the picture. Here we go. That one. Or you can, in the big picture, build the Assetto Corsa. Now, I always was uh, fascinated by that one. I like the bulging uh, fenders. I like the open um, hood at the back. I like the way the wipers are constructed. It just looks mean and, and competitive. Love that, love that. Uh, I'm one of those who uh, experienced and has driven a Fiat 500, so I know exactly what it feels inside. It was a very interesting vehicle. And uh, some of you might know I'm six foot nine, so it was an interesting fit, you know was one of those on second sort let's take the front seats out but anyway so very excited to show that to you and maybe just show to you uh, the sides what they look like because down there i get the feeling this will not fit underneath my bench cam so we're not even going to try so you see it from all different angles right over here on the sides nothing special and then on this side a bit more I got here we go let's put it straight you can see here that we have a bit of PE on this and there's a bit of a description and obviously the uh, decal sheet but we will have a look at that all of that in a minute but before we do that should we not have rather have a quick look at the history of this kit yeah why not let's go over to scalemates apparently this is an edition who has some new it says here on the front New molds, new molds. Well, we will be the judge of that once we look at it on the bench. But before we do that, quick shot at the history. See you there. Right, and here we are down there at Scam. I was having a look at uh, the box which I just showed you. Very nice. Apparently, it came out in uh, 2018. Here we go with new parts but when you look at it it says it's the one and only even if you go into full history now what's going on i think this is wrong and uh, we uh, have to maybe afterwards correct that because this has new parts compared to the first edition of the fiat 500 112 from italieri which is this one right over here which came out a year before that and that is obviously also a beautiful car i love the little fiat 500s looks very similar to this one over here so this is a 695 but still based on that and uh yeah it will be it will be great to see uh whether they are correct yeah it, i think i think there's very little doubt that the one and the other one are pretty much the same the 695 is because they had the bigger engine at the back the fiat 500 had the 500 cc engine 695 the bigger engine but from the outside they are very very similar lovely lovely little car and i actually can now very proudly make them part of my stash here we go here we go you saw it here first right now uh Let's go down to the bench and see what is in this immense box, which we just received. See you down there. Right, and here we are. As you can see, I made an honest effort, but there is just no way you can uh, 
you can see what's, uh, what the entire box looks like. You, can, you know, kind of shift it around, see the new molds, which shows us that is, this is not the first kit of this iteration. And uh, let's open the box so you can get an idea how the inside has been arranged. I had my paws in there already, of course I did. So, right here, gives you an idea of what we all have. We have um, PE and other stuff. We have a look at this in detail just now. We obviously have the instruction sheet. We have the decals. Let's put the instruction sheet to one side. Here we go. Yeah, this one. We have glass right over here. We have chrome right over here. And then we have quite a bit of plastic right over here some special parts right over here we have the body nicely and neatly separately protectively packed right over there let's put that to that side and we have a whole bag full of tires and we have a bit of a weave right over here as well have a look at that all just now hey in the meantime we put the box to one side and we start with the instruction sheet and why should we not now i'm wondering should we have a quick look what that looks like here if it is the same instruction sheet maybe it's easier for you to see it as a pdf online that probably is huh? yeah, i will do that but i can show you what it looks like it's a booklet very nice i love booklets here we go so you can just open it up and then you go through everything. Here you go. But uh, I'll share my other screen and we can have a look at it online. This probably, probably makes more sense. So let's put that on and put that off. Let's transition this. And we shift this a little bit more to this side. How about that, huh? Not too bad, not too bad at all. Maybe we uh, just make it slightly bigger. Here we are, and that should give you a good idea. So here we are, that's how it starts. It gives you the intro sheet. It is a six, uh, 595, 695 SS. So they can build these two versions and obviously you can build the uh, Assetto Corsa version bit of the Fiat 500 right over here. Then here it gives you an idea of the sprue, so you can check if you have everything. You have AC, um, I haven't figured out what AC means, so if you know, please let me know in the comments. We have PE, we have the nylon net, which we have just seen, glass and more plastic, nine tires, couple of tubes and springs, and more sprues and uh, leather right over here which i would guess is probably for the roof and then it starts so what you see here is what i assume is the bottom plate inside on the other side the pedals would go here you have the steering box look at that <laughs> i love that construction of that steering box that's already how it starts that's pretty cool then uh, it assembles right over here. Here is uh, the leaf spring, single leaf spring for the uh, rear axle, front axle. Looks like it's a front axle. Right. And then, uh, yeah, steering mechanism right over here. Then here you can assemble the suspension. The suspension gets assembled to so different parts right over here. And uh, more detail and how to keep everything moving with a warm screwdriver you know how that works just to make sure your steering mechanism is working right then a couple of parts for the inside um, heater pipes right over here and uh, there you start with the brakes then engine shrouds right over here and the uh, rest of the engine gets assembled here and obviously with the uh, two ignition cables for not only one cylinder but two and then uh, once you have had a go at that then uh, 
can put the engine halves together, exhaust, and the whole engine construction goes on here and then gets put from the underside into the car. Then we have the rear suspension. You see that very nicely over here. Obviously, it is a rear-wheel drive with a rear engine, so the rear suspension looks like this. It's where the springs start going in, and then obviously a couple of plates, that kind of stuff right over here. Then we get to the interior and the dashboard, and here you have some PE parts which you put around the tank because then you can uh, later on secure the tank into its very safe position, which is right in front. So when you are in an accident and it starts burning inside of the cabin, the uh, fluid of the petrol will then fall safely onto you and extinguish the fire. Safety first. Right, then we have a gear lever and this is choke and starter. This is what these two levers are. They go into here. And one side is the choke, the other side is the starter. You don't start it with the key, you just put the key in and turn it for ignition. And then these are the two levers you start it with. Handbrake right over here. And then only for the 695SS, the interior gets done slightly different. Then here we have the Corsa seats right over here. Next page is the uh, 695SS seats, which are basically the normal seats as I know them in the Fiat 500, red with white piping. Then it uh, gives you a little bit more what you have to do. If you do the Assetto Corsa, you have to cut out a little bit of uh, the body right over here, otherwise your wheels are not gonna turn. And uh, need to do that front and back if you do the 695 ss you don't have to do it and here it tells you how the construction of the doors will be done obviously the doors should open afterwards we hope they do all right then uh, installation of the doors right over here and uh, installation of windows, uh, sun shields and other interior stuff. Then here, when you, if you build the Corsa, then obviously you have cut off these little part of the body and then you will attach the extended fenders for the bigger tires. And once you've done that, you get your uh, chassis and inside together and then obviously the, you marriage the whole lot right over here then if you buy if you build the Corsa you will have the engine lid permanently open I'll show you in a minute what that looks like so this is this is how they drive around. this is what they did because it didn't fit in there it, the engine was too big it didn't fit in there right and uh, windows the special wipers for the Assetto Corsa and then obviously lid and uh, roof right over here it was a cloth roof, which is very, very interesting. Like, like the Beetle, like the old Beetles, they had the same thing. So here you can see the open engine bay again. And here the 695 SS, slightly different construction. First of all, you have this handle part, which you don't have in the Corsa. It folds away. Then uh, the lid opens up that way, as you can see right over here and it also stays slightly open uh, you see it gets closed like that or you can have it like in five centimeters open i've seen them drive around like that as well and there you also have a spare wheel which you do not have with the Corsa wheel is too big it doesn't fit in there and uh, obviously we're back to the lid and then uh, there are different options for the roof section and this is obviously what the leather part is all about here it says leather roof Right, you can fold it up halfway, or whatever. it makes a cool display. Probably need to get another one. And uh, lights then over here, and this is the 695 SS. And here it gives you a bit more ideas about the uh, decals. There are no decals for the fenders for the Corsa, so you need to try to get that red pretty close to the red of the decals. Uh, or do not decal and paint all the stripes but this particular part obviously is also on a red decal so I'm not quite sure how you're going to do that we will, we will figure that out as we go and then it gives you a very good view of the two options which you had obviously that was from the fine folks over at uh, Italieri and there it gives you a bit of a rundown what the finished model could possibly 
look like. So that's about it. Right, so I would say, knife at the ready. And let's start opening up. Well, while we have this here laying around, just open it up. You have seen it. You can go down a bit here. Here we go. You've seen that uh, nylon goes over here. And obviously, it used to cover up some openings. Always nice to have that. Then uh, let's do the decal sheet so we can pack it safely away, shall we? Yeah, there's so much stuff here. So much stuff. Right, here's the decal sheet right over here. Decals look good, don't, don't look old, don't look yellow. You see that red, so you need that red also to get on the... Uh, see, this is, looks... A, that's pretty close, huh? Here we go, Tamiya LP50 looks pretty close. Or alternatively, we have... It looks a bit dark. So you need to do so. I will need to do some testing and everybody who builds it needs to do some testing to get this pretty close. This one is just the normal red of uh, Mr. Color, what I have here. And the other one, the Tamiya LP50, from looking at the bottom, looks a lot close. Uh, yeah, we will have a look. So this is what you try to match up. Anyway, there's the decals, there's the roof decal, a uh, couple of number plates over here. And then at the bottom here we have uh, decals for the dashboard, we have uh, the engine plates right over here, a couple of uh, markings and uh, the Scorpion, famous Scorpion obviously, right over there for a bath and a couple of other a bath stickers right over here. Very cool, looks cool. Italieri uh, decal sheets, especially when they are from the younger variation, and this is obviously from 2018 at the worst. They're normally pretty good. Shouldn't be too problematic at all. And as I said, I'm gonna secure them and put them away. And then we have a quick look at, we have a pack here with some very nice accessories. Here you go. I'm not going to open this up because I will just lose stuff. And you can see there are quite a few uh, springs in there. There's a pipes in there. There's different size cables. There's transparent pipes in there. So it's a, and there's a bit of wire in here as well. So it's a, it's a bag of goodies, which you will uh, use for mostly suspension and the engine. Right. Then we have the glass, which is another thing which I will not open up. Here you see, it It looks pretty good. I looked through it, it looks all right. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. It, it, this one actually seems to be scratched a little bit. Are you kidding me? No, no, it wipes away. Okay, right, so the glass looks fine. You see uh, side windows, here's one half open. Back windows right over here. That is the front screen, rear screen, and then beautiful lights right over there here the rear lights i thought i'll show you that here we go there there you go right that's the glass let's put that to one side put that in last so i break the stuff and then we can start i don't know let's let's have a look at this quickly shall we here you go this is this uh bridge which is uh Here, here we go. It's quite a construction kit. Right, then we have, see they have learned from the worst of Tamiya. Put some staples in here. Let's open this up. Oh, we don't actually need to open this up. We just loosen that here. Get the stuff out. Right, these are the AC parts. If I just, it might be for the lights. I would, I would say it's probably for the lights. I'm not too sure. Yeah. And then we have some dark parts over here. So window covers? No. Carpets for the car? Don't know. We'll find out as we build it. We have another black sheet right over here. Oh, this is just the black felt or leather, maybe. 
pretty nice very nice and then obviously the PE sheet which is mostly when you build the 695 all these big parts are for the 695 double S if you build the colorful um, uh, uh, Leto Corsa then uh, lots of the stuff is not applicable to you right so let's very carefully put that back again so that we don't hurt anything of course we don't want there we go mysterious AC parts and yeah, let's put it in that way should be safer right and done 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 we uh, can have a quick look at the tires. Of course, we will open them up. I'm not gonna put them in the box. Here we go. Just put in a little hole here. Here we go. Right, we have two types of tires. We have the normal Fiat 500 tires right over here. So that would be when if you do the 695 double S, this would be your tires. It looks very good, nice and soft as well. Branded. As a Cinturato. Here we go, Cinturato tires. And then for the Aleto Corsa, you have slightly thicker ones. Knobs here, which needs a bit of a cleanup. No branding on those. And these are the bigger ones for the Aleto Corsa model if you decide to build that one. Of these ones we have five, the smaller ones, because you get a spare wheel. This ones we have four. Altogether, nine tires in the kit. Roidy kit in there. Now, Crow. Oh yeah, there is some. Here we go. There's one chrome tree and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna have a quick look at that. Here you go. There's chrome, there's a rear handle if which you don't use if you build the Aleto Corsa. These are the wipers. These are, you see two different types of wipers. Here are these normal wipers and here are the wipers for the Aleto Corsa. A bit of trim, window. Uh, tr oh, that's very nice. So you don't need to paint that uh, chrome. Uh, yeah, obviously touch up on these is problematic because it's a bigger, it's a bigger uh, scale, so you will see it a lot easier on the than on the 125 and 124s, where you maybe get away with something. This is a rear number plate, so yeah, we will see how that goes. The plating itself, nothing wrong with that, looks fine to me. Right, and then we start with the plastic. No, we not. And why not start with this one? Which has quite a few pieces inside here. Let's try to cut that. Uh, very tight, these uh, plastic bags. Right, here we go. Quite a bit of stuff. Um, and let's put these to one side. Here are the seats. These look like the Corsa seats right over here. Very nice. Here they are ones which also look like Corsa seats, uh, lesser seats. Here we go. Then uh, different, different uh, pieces for the uh, suspension. If I have to guess, a couple of pieces over here. I'm not even going to start trying to explain what it is. Here we have the dashboard, oil pan. I would guess um, we have steering wheel, which looks very nice. I like that. A couple of uh, tanks right over here pipes, uh, wheels, 
wheel assembly and then obviously the extended fenders that's what we have talked about before in here then we have smaller sprues right over here which means we have the uh, another wheel our uh, wheel here we go as wheel it looks like they are both the same looking at them yeah identical wheels drum brakes and other smaller suspension part here is the steering mechanism steering column very very nice indeed now we have two steering mechanisms here always nice to have one spare you never know what happens on a rally never know right now we have another bag also huge so we need to we need to get up here that we can actually see what we're having here right let's open this up again here we go again we put the small one away we start with the big one here's uh, part of the roof section right over here let's here we go it might work better that way here we go so part of the roof section then uh, another pan over here interesting another steering wheel now this is not a racing wheel this i think well, goes into the ss version that's a normal fiat 500 wheel which obviously was big for a small car but uh, remember in those days power steering was a very lux luxury it was a very oh god my english is going down the river it was a luxury so you found it in the mercedes of the world didn't find it in a fiat 500 or a beetle that's for sure uh, some other parts over here heating pipes because the warm air from the engine room gets then uh, directed in to the cabin so it gets nice and warm spouts a bit of petrol but that's part of the fun beetle had a very similar system which never worked properly either here a couple more engine parts rear suspension right over here rear suspension parts then this appears to be the tank here we go let's get over a little bit further tank another uh, air ducts battery we have the front leaf spring right over there this looks like the uh, emergency car lifter you know change uh, change the wheel quickly here we go the jack here we go jeez me words uh, it's, uh, it is late it is late i'll tell you and uh, some other very interesting parts looks good looks good looks really good then let's have a look at the silver one here we are oh, that's engine parts again more wheels i guess that's the spare wheel right over here uh which you obviously only have in the ss 695 version here we have the two engine halves a couple of engine parts the uh, belt assembly right over here and uh, this looks like a silencer and an exhaust a bard fiat were not known for their subtle turns and another pair of wipers lots of wipers on here they're not known for their softness as far as the uh, the noise was concerned right now we get to the body parts Jeez, they really have put that in very tightly here probably uh, plastic wrapped around this very very tightly here we go right here we have body parts we have uh, front and rear parts uh, inside this also goes inside uh, engine cover right over here all molded in the white glistening plastic the bonnet the uh, dashboard right over here some of the smaller parts and obviously the doors you can see them looks all very fine there's a frame of some sort 
around here. I'm not quite sure where it goes. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, this is all see-through, as you would expect by a relatively modern 1 to 12 kit. And otherwise, it looks fine. It looks good. No problems here. The last big one. <laughs> and it is another big one. Do the same trick again if you just have yeah, this is extremely tight. I'm going to reuse those. Use some bigger ones from myself. Here you go. Here we have the seats, and these are obviously not the uh, competition seats which we have just seen. These are the seats for the uh, uh, 695. Right, very tempting, but now I'm going to give some. Uh, roof. I would assume, yeah, roof and uh, inside of the doors, inside of the back part of the, of the, uh, that's actually the inside of the back part, that is the inside of the doors. We have the bed right over here, and then obviously the pan with the inside as it would be in the Alessio Corsa, and then should you build, decide to build the 695, uh, then obviously you can use the PE parts to build yourself a different interior as we have just seen. Always nice to have a bit of choice, isn't it? Right, now this can come on top and the glass can come here. I'm, I'm, I'm packing here very carefully here on the side. Now the body. Last but certainly not least, the iconic Fiat 500 body. Right, now, let's have a look at this. So this is where they said you must cut on the inside. Now what do you cut on the inside? Do you cut here? They said on the line on the inside. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't see no line on the inside. So very interesting to see what you cut away. Obviously you then just try to fit on the uh, extended fenders should you decide to use them. That should give you a pretty good idea where you cut. I, th I kind of think it will be cut here. There, right there. At the right here where it fits on. Anyway, because you need to have space for the wheels and so just trimming this away will probably not do the trick. Right, but let's have a look at the body itself. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. So this looks a bit like a seam line. There isn't one. Nothing. How did they do that? Oh, there are some injector pin masks here up there in the roof. These are the only ones I see. Indeed. Nice uh, see-through air cover right over here. Windows, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. There's a seam which you need to attend to, obviously. It must be somewhere. We see a nice piece in here to keep it stable. Uh, she will appreciate when you paint this thing. And uh, apart from that, it looks very good. Very authentic, very nice. Uh, receptors for the real lights right over here. Oh, looks cool, looks very cool. I love that. I think it looks fantastic. Very, very cool. But then I'm biased. Just, just know it. I'm biased. I'm still, my one of my dream kits is still that Fiat 500 kit from Tamiya and 1 to 24. Can't find it anywhere. They're not re releasing it, nothing. It is just a shame. It is just a shame. I would love to have that one. Anyway. That's what was on the bench of the uh, Fiat 500, or as they say, the uh, Fiat Abarth 695 Assetto Corsa or 695 SS. So we will see which one we built. This might be my very first video build. Don't hold me to that, but that's the plan. That's the plan that this will be my very first video build. I'll have to figure out what I do with cameras to have a camera underneath and uh, 
kind of permanent so I don't need to break it up and down all the time so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do but yeah the plan is that this might be my first video build but in the meantime let's get back upstairs and uh, have a quick conclusion and say goodbye see you there and here we are right at the end of the review of the Fiat of our 695 SS or the Fiat Assetto Corsa and uh, it is it is a biggie luckily it's a Fiat 500 and not a Chrysler Imperial because otherwise it would be double and a half that size but it's still nice and big I'm, I'm telling you that for nothing and I'm really looking forward the parts look nice not super detailed but detailed enough to make a very very nice kit yeah, you know, I don't know if you did Italieri kits before, but you get that black, hard, brittle plastic. None of that in that box, as you have seen. Plastic looks very nice. Everything looks very crisp. A uh, little bit of cleaning up to do, as you have, have all the time. But there was basically no flash either. So pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool kit. And I'm really itching to get started with it. There's one or two other things which I need to do first. And uh, then I'll hope. I can figure out how I can make this a uh, kind of a build series because it will take me forever let's let's just be honest this is not built in a day this is uh, not built in a weekend this will take months but yeah thanks very much for popping in hope you guys enjoyed that I certainly did I was excited like a little schoolboy when I got this box today really really love it and uh, looking forward to get started with this. Well, thanks for popping in. Thanks for saying hello. Thanks for watching the review. And if you made it all the way to here, greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.